Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. This will be for August to September 2022 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone, so just take what resonates with you as always. Let's see what we have for you for August to September. So I have retail. If you have an idea in mind... This is giving you the green light that there is a need for it. Consider careers in retail or e-commerce, whether it's goods or services. Save time, energy and add passive income by taking your business online. With that, we have manifesting. You have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming soon. An opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talent. Yeah, that retail energy. Retail is, is where there is a demand for goods or products of some kind and there's the exchange there. But this can equally be about manifesting yourself, saying that you're exactly what somebody needs. You know, let's see what else we get. <clears throat> what do we have for Pisces, please? Money, career, finances, angel spirits, guides, August to September 2022. Thank you. Message for Pisces. Thank you. Card is turned over. Number 37, never ending story. see what that is about number 37 so we have self-criticism the wounded ego unnecessary drama fear envy procrastination greed and the perception of victimhood could all be active in your life at this moment. Are you comparing yourself with others, thinking their success should be yours? Maybe you're afraid of all the good that is coming your way, so you can step out of your lane, totally aware of what you're doing, but seemingly powerless to stop yourself. Are you back where you started? or in a situation that reminds you of past failures, financial insecurities scaring you, you must learn to love yourself through missteps and sabotaging moments. Use criticism constructively right now. Better yet, stop telling this story altogether. Make up a new one. The universe loves you deeply and will wait for you to figure it out. Tell a new story and success is all but guaranteed. You can do it. This is that kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. What we put out there, what we vocalise is what we get back. It feels like there's some kind of new script or new story where you actually say, actually, this, the retail energy, and again, it could be with the retail industry, but retail is always, is always about meeting demand by giving somebody exactly what they want. Um, and knowing that, knowing that you have the power to plug that gap, you have the power to fulfill that story, you know, it could well be setting yourselves higher, setting your sights higher, um, not being afraid to promote yourself, believing in yourself, being da daring to dream, that kind of energy. Let's see what else we get. I'm going to pull you a fortune cookie. What do we have for Pisces, please? Money, career, finances. We have care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Okay, Pisces. I'm going to pull some cards and see what we get. It's interesting, bottom of the deck is the star card. 
which is all about our dreams. This is all about hope um, and daring to dream. And an opportunity to maybe liberate yourself from the constraints that you find yourself in right now, whether they're self-imposed or imposed on you in some way. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guide message for Pisces. Money Career Finances, August to September 2022. Thank you. So somebody, we have the King of Wands. This person's influential this month. In the next month or two, August to September, King of Wands can be very charismatic and go-getting and driven. So it could be the energy that you're adopting. For some of you, it could be a person coming into your life, male or female, uh, would be a very powerful leader, somebody who absolutely takes the lead, very driven, very high energy, uh, very inspirational to work with as well. Judgment. The Nine of Swords. The Empress. We have the King of Swords. The Six of Cups. And we have the Three of Cups, Celebration, Joy, Happiness. Bottom of the deck, the World, which is a pretty powerful card here. This, for some of you, it might well, it feels like a, an important, significant decision is coming to you, or you're waiting for the communication of that. This could be, I mean, for some of you, this could be a legal thing. For others of you, this could well be um, could be, like I said, straight money, career finances as well. It would be linked to new abundance. That's for sure. So let's clarify this King of Wands. So this King of Wands is certainly of influence in the next month or two. What do we have for Pisces, please? Can we clarify this King of Wands? Thank you. Mm, we have the Ten of Wands. And I've got the world. Yeah, I mean, this is either somebody involved in a situation that you want to be liberated from or somebody who helps that. So however it resonates with you here, Pisces, because this is a general reading, it's a person of significant influence. The King of Wands can hold an opportunity. So can, it doesn't always offer it, but in this energy, it does feel for some of you, there's victory and success attached to that. Um, that allows you to lift a weight of burden uh, because there's victory, there's success, there's worldly success, there's celebratory energy, um, goal achievement. So for some of you, uh, if this King of Wands is offering you maybe a job, a new job or a new business opportunity, or even a promotion of some kind, this is the energy of... of all the hard work is worth it and you step into a new phase of your life because again the ten of wands can be burden so it can be things that you just want to be free of now but it can also be represent a lot of hard work and effort that was a burden working long hours it dominated your life you know took on extra responsibility worked particularly hard to get this so for some of you this could well be some kind of promotion as well because the world card can be about stepping into a new level, next level energy. So the world card is a major completion, can be about goal achievement. Like I said, it represents achievement, accomplishment, um, victory, success. So that allows you to step into a brand new beginning. 
uh, but next level up. So with the world card appearing twice, there's just a strong energy here of, of celebration, joy, goal achievement, victory, uh, winning, you know, and and stepping through to the next level up. Whether it's with this person or whether you liberate from this person and move somewhere else. So again, however that resonates with you. And similarly, if this was a legal situation here, for some of you, it could well be. This is liberating from a weight. A weight is about to be lifted. Uh, it could well be if you've been in battle with somebody here, this is claiming victory over that. And it might have felt like a never ending story for that reason. Because you're waiting for the judgment. The King of Swords brings uh, the clarity, the judgment, the communication here. So the judgment is a major decision that can change your pathway. Um, major life changing decision, but it feels like it's coming into you in some way. Judgment can also judge people's actions. So again, in a legal setting, this could well be somebody's being judged for what they've done and you're waiting on the outcome of that. Well, it does feel either way is victorious. A significant life-changing decision and it's what you've been manifesting here the outcome is very positive for you so however this resonates for you Pisces because you know this can be very karmic so again if that ten of wands was that built up over a period of time and you just want to be free of it now um, it's not to do with hard work or effort or being overworked this is the energy of, of a judgment on that basis, you know, but you're liberated. It feels like it's very favorable for you. I feel you're waiting on it. You don't have clarity of it yet. And that's why there's a lot of overthinking going on in whether you're going to get the joy that you want. Again, the Six of Cups is a real kind of joy and happiness, you coming back to you. And the uncertainty of that. Equally, the Six of Cups can be to do with other people involved or supporting you in the situation, family, love, romance, relationship, a long-term standing friendship of some kind. The Nine of Swords is just, it feels like for some of you, this could be a supportive thing if that's the case. Seeing you through some kind of, through some kind of very stressful period of your life um, because you don't know what's going to happen because you haven't got the clarity yet, you know? You're waiting on the judgment. But this is the energy of a successful outcome. This, I mean, two world cards is pretty significant. There's a, a strong deservingness of this because whatever this is, it finishes. It finishes you from overthinking. So if you wanted to... Um, be free of a work environment or if you wanted to be free of a boss or you wanted to um, get a promotion of some kind. This is the energy of success, accomplishment, stepping to the next phase of your life, next level up um, because you deserve it. You know, this is that cycle is complete. You, you are graduating to the next level. So there's a real kind of victory about that, celebratory about, celebration about that because you've learned what you needed to in that cycle. Um, so for some of you here, I mean, this just feels a very, very positive energy. It's, it's very successful. It represents successful outcomes, accomplishment, celebration, joy, victory. Just lovely. And the Empress is the birth of something new. So she's very good in terms of uh, money career business in particular. You can see the lush scenery around her. She's a very abundant energy. She represents the beginnings of new. So she can be the birth of new ideas, the birth of new money, the birth of new opportunities coming your way. Uh, she, she represents real kind of like abundant and promise of... Um, the very beginnings of, of new abundance, new money of some kind. Just a lovely energy. And not feeling lack. So again, if there was a, a situation, if there was a legal situation and it was like a never-ending story, which it would be with that Ten of Wands with this other person, 
where you were wanting that kind of retail energy, you were wanting to be given what you deserved. You know, you didn't want to feel lack. You wanted the supply and the demand to be equal, you know, that kind of energy. There may well have been a process that you've gone through to achieve that here Pisces and there is a successful outcome on that basis. For others of you, if it was about liberating from a weight or a burden of some kind and you were waiting on a significant life-changing decision, um, this is the energy of, of goal achievement, victory, success. If you've been competing for something that allows you to liberate from a weight or a burden here, either this from, from this person or this person bringing a new opportunity and again, however it resonates with you, it all ends in celebration because the Three of Cups is celebration, joy, happiness. Uh, it's a very uplifting energy, celebrating with friends, family, everything comes good. So there's just a lovely energy of the end of the never-ending story. And a strong energy of taking care of you. There, there's, there's a suggestion here of, of somebody, if it's legal, somebody being made to do the right thing. It could well be in this energy, giving you what you deserve in a, in a way that you feel abundant, you feel satisfied. And that's the outcome here. If they didn't do that before, and it's been a never-ending story to get them to do that. Because supply and demand need to be equally met. That's what I'm getting here. For others of you, again, this is about finding something that fits you perfectly. Um, whether it's a promotion or whether it's stepping through to a brand new job, brand new phase of your life, there is a strong energy you can find a release from the work or a burden or both. This care required is you, I feel this is taking care of you. You know, feels you're taking care of you and manifesting positive you know, uh, ch change in your life where you can move to that next level, where you feel, where you feel abundant, where you don't feel lack, where you feel everything is falling into place for you and you feel everything is enough. You know, that's that kind of energy is what I'm getting. Okay, final message for Pisces. Interesting reading, Pisces. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there is a strong energy of, of, for some of you, you haven't felt that abundance and you've been striving for it. Whether this was, I deserve a promotion, I want you to do the right thing. Um, or for some of you, if somebody wasn't doing the right thing, you're moving somewhere else. And again, for some of you, the right thing being done, if it's like a legal thing. But two world cards is significant, a very, very, very successful completion and outcome for you. Because we have abundance here, prepare yourself for incoming abundance, release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and in human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. There we go. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. I wish you a wonderful August to September. If you enjoyed it, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time.